वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज प्रतीक तंवर फ्रॉम बेस्ट इंग्लिश क्लासेस बीकानेर एंड दिस इज मुकेश जन्मा फ्रॉम टाइटेनियम इंग्लिश क्लासेस उदयपुर एंड वी आर हियर टू डिस्कस अ डिबेट सो इफ यू लाइक टू पार्टिसिपेट इन डिबेट कॉम्पिटिशन और जीडी कॉम्पिटिशन देन दिस इज अ गुड प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर यू टू लर्न just note down all the points that we are going to discuss today and it will be very helpful for you if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe the channel so sir today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic and an age old topic people have been discussing this topic from long time it's a reservation so is it right or wrong we will discuss it what are the merits and demerits so what is your opinion Firstly, Pratik sir, you have chosen a wonderful topic, reservation, and uh, it is on the peak discussion. Every time it comes first, and uh, it it has become very much controversial also. Yes. Ah, uh, see, I would like to favor the reservation. It okay. it started for the good cause, mm -hmm. and the biggest reason behind it, ah, uh, historical injustice. Mm. Everyone knows. injustice about the scheduled caste injustice about the tribal caste you know caste based reservation is really necessary in india because of i said historical negligence and injustice caused to those backward communities in past okay but i i totally agree with you sir it not only happened in past it happens in present also many times we come to know from newspaper that a uh, particular groom because he was from scheduled caste then he was just asked to uh, to come out of uh, that uh, barat and he was beaten and it had these things happen today only uh, today also it happens but that's a different thing sir this thing comes under casteism what i believe is that the biggest disadvantage of reservation system is that in case of competitive exams the selection of an individual should be on the basis of merit sir, and not on the basis of caste because reservation defy this logic that there should be equality why it was why it was created by baba saheb ambedkar to have equality but where is the equality now if a person is getting 80% in a competitive exam and he is not getting selection and a person from reserved quota he has only 60% and he is becoming a doctor so isn't it isn't it dangerous or isn't it risky to have a doctor with only 60% i believe that this is not risky because uh, i have seen many people uh, many doctors even who came from the scheduled caste and uh, after getting the post they are much experienced now mm. in udaipur also there are so many doctors uh, but see uh, yet i mean in cities they are okay i mean those who, uh, who are getting reservation they are getting benefits mm -hmm. but if we move towards the backward villages mm -hmm. still people are not aware about their rights actually yes. so i mean people you know the one part, the biggest partiality what i feel the scheduled caste people they can do all type of work they can clean the drainage they can clean all the waste of the human Mm -hmm. but the jungle cal caste people not a single person can is is ready to take this responsibility this is also type of partiality of mindset right that this type of categories will do only this type of work what do you say okay i i will have to agree on this point these things happen in our society but this is because the how society was and it is changing time after some time it's it's changing day by day and things will change but it does not justify the injustice what's happening to the other castes who are not getting reservation because it should be income based as you said by yourself that uh, some of the people from scheduled caste who are from backward villages they are not getting benefit because they are not aware and the people who live in cities and they are already in a good position like if the grandfather got the reservation and father got the reservation then and they are in a good position now why there is a need to give reservation to their son or grandson it is i can give the best example okay it is although i'm 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 favoring the reservation it doesn't mean that whatever i'm saying should be 100% correct correct it is my perception hmm. well if somebody is having property hmm. then he is not going to give he is not going to donate it 
I mean, this property will be used by his upcoming generations, right? Okay. Okay. So it is used, although it's wrong. It may be another discussion, but mm. there are still so many things uh, still going on in our society, and uh, this reservation gives power to the uh, the scheduled caste people. Uh, that's why I favor that reservation is good. But it is giving to those people of scheduled caste who are already in power. Mm. and dirty politics is involved in all this like this was this was uh this reservation was for a limited period but it was extended because of politics only mm. and now also if some particular caste they if they want reservation so they just try to uh use their polit- politicians uh and they just go on road and they just uh damage the property of government and they use that politics to get uh, more percentage in reservation it has come nowadays in every society everyone is thinking that by the reservation uh, they'll be successful here i want to focus and i want i want everyone to focus on one special point hmm. especially those who are well settled the families are well settled hmm. i think uh, i mean their generation will not face problem if they have, they have a dream to become like any type of officer in government mm. then it's okay i mean they have one benefit also the platform is good they want to get another they want to uh, go for another dream uh, i mean they can compromise but other sides such scheduled caste people they have no choice at all and if we are giving them a power i think uh, that this discrimination can be that deprived uh, people were deprived in past that that can be recovered up to a level that was already recovered in past but yet in villages this discrimination is going on but the biggest disadvantage of the reservation is that it suppresses meritocracy the people who are meritorious that there are many people from the general caste and from the brahmanical community they are all of them are not rich people sir there are a lot of them who are economically very much uh, poor so they right. also deserve equality they also deserve a lot of things and if they are meritorious and not getting the advantage there are like this take an example of engineering colleges you are an engineer by yourself uh, the top engineering colleges in india conduct uh, entrance exam to admit students but because of reservation system the reserved seat go to those candidates who scored less than half the mark as compared to general candidates so is it justice or injustice why reservation came in existence to have justice in the world and is it really creating justice those mm-hmm. those students who are who got 80% and 90% they are now considered as second class citizens because they are not getting admissions it's you again creating the, discrimination sir you started from the meritocracy mm. uh here meritocracy is important however it will have uh, no meaning without equality uh, the caste based reservation also minimize the gap between upper and lower caste to to a great extent i mean uh, for example in my village uh, the sh- earlier uh, 30 years back scheduled caste people they didn't used to be respected right even so many people used to be insulted uh, by the upper caste people but at this time when there are so many officer level people they have got a huge respect now and uh, that, that, that i said that level uh, that gap has been recovered that's why i say with the time along with the by the time pass, passes people will get respect this discrimination will decrease and after a certain time period when all get equal then reservation can be stopped and uh, when it will happen according to you around in how many years are uh, we can't predict actually it, it no it all like 5 years or 10 years 15 years we, 20 years you can't say we can't say even a god couldn't say uh, uh, shri ram uh, tried to remove this discrimination in ramayana even shabri at the you know tested uh, berries of ram mm-hmm. but currently even no, well no, educated ram, people ram at ram at tested berries of shabri yeah sorry uh-huh. so ram at the uh, that tested berries of shabri mm-hmm. so that time she tried uh, sorry he tried uh, god ram tried to 
reduce this discrimination but currently also those who are follower of ram you know they also believe in discrimination they call by the different words to such serial caste people so i mean since that time people did not understand the right message till now then we cannot predict about the future that till what this uh, gap will be recovered so saying bad words to scheduled caste people it's totally wrong and i i totally agree with you that it's wrong but reservation is not justified sir although i am also in obc category i also get reservation but i don't think it's right why i am saying this that do you really think that because of reservation casteism will decrease no not at all there there will be no uh, also you should consider one point one point i want to add that is inter caste marriages like uh-huh. if suppose there is a uh, girl of scheduled caste and she wants to marry a boy of upper caste or so called upper caste so uh, she will not do that because uh-huh. if she does that that she will not get benefit of reservation so it is also a big wall against the inter caste marriages no it's not in all society she love is different thing we have already discussed the love marriage right uh, but can't you uh, i mean don't you think that one point uh, scheduled caste people do such work which is never admired and appreciated by the upper caste although they are exploited every time they want cheap labor everything like economical uh, but have you ever seen that any type of upper upper caste society they thought themselves we are ki we should also do the work like scheduled caste doing they are cleaning the you know drainages we should also take the uh, that we should give them helping hands uh, i mean do you think I, any anyone i totally there? agree with you i totally agree with you that there is a discrimination in the society but reservation can't be a solution to that because it is only but, increasing it is only increasing the gap between um the so called upper caste people and scheduled caste people it's only increasing the gap between them it is the formula I, it I is the formula I, created I by know. british people that they wanted to divide india and rule this reservation idea was given by them no we can't say it was given by them it was already done by the baba bimrao ambedkar but i think this this gap uh, you're talking about it is not that much worse as already they have a discrimination type of uh, thinking between the people of upper caste even i come from the upper caste but mm-hmm. i i don't like these things right i believe in that uh, culture of shri ram actually and uh, that type of equality i try to maintain up to a level uh, with all scheduled caste people mm-hmm. so even it was just a discussion right yeah. it's not in your hand it's not in my hand i would but, like to take yeah. your final word for the people for the poor people from forward camp that uh-huh. what are your final ideas for them uh, they should how can they get a social or economic advantage in life see i mean uh, up to a level in uh, especially the general caste people they should help like who are already capable that should they should help to such uh, people who are economically weak and uh, of course uh, after some time um, Uh, government should think uh, about the economical best reservation instead of caste reservation once uh, everybody becomes capable then and one more thing i want to say those people who are from scheduled caste and they have stepped up the social ladder they should get reservation now or not no they should not okay they actually they should be human and they should themselves uh, admit that now we are settled enough and now we don't require reservation and how about making a law for that uh, will you favor it or not that i can't say it may it, it can be made without law it is not possible to implement any any type of reservation right okay okay sir it was a healthy discussion although it's a very controversial topic we have given just our points and uh, i think there are a lot of things still to discuss and i would like to ask students to give their comments in the comment box but uh, keep it in the in a polite manner and uh, don't give controversial things on the comment box just be mature and give your mature thoughts about it okay because our overall aim is to live in a healthy society right if our life should go smooth 
so instead of fighting with each other we should try to help each other and just remove this casteism this biggest sin that we have in our country from our country right so sir that's all for today that's all and if they discuss in the comment box as you said uh, if they write the points with the honesty and proper manners without being aggressive then it will be a healthy discussion yeah. discussion must go on because discussion is uh, the key for the solution right right okay sir so that's it for today if you are new to the channel please subscribe the channel and uh, like if you like the discussion dislike if you didn't like it and keep in touch thank you so much bye bye